Nasuni. Demo Video Snack Bar. Bet you can't watch just one. Hi, this is Matt Stack, Solutions Architect with Nasuni. In this demo, we're going to talk about Nasuni's web access from an end user perspective. Uh, we talked about the management and configuring um, this particular functionality. And today we're going to take a look at what it looks like from the end user perspective. Uh, so first and foremost, you'll know here that uh, when you go to log in, you'll see that it says web access, as opposed to logging into the administrative access. Uh, web access is for, again, the end user. Uh, up at the top here, you'll see a Nasuni logo. This can be branded. So by simply going in and changing um, what logo is presented, um, you can go ahead and take a, you know, an image file and present your own customized logo. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to log in with my Active Directory credentials here. Now, when I log in and I authenticate, you'll notice first and foremost that I've got a couple shares um, that are listed here. I'm going to go into home directories. And what's great about this is you're going to see the exact same content that you would see from a Windows Explorer view, again, connected through a UNC path or, or drive mapping. This is the exact same content. When I go into my folder and I go back over to you know, my, my view over here, this is browsing what's in the, the exact same view that I have. If I create new content, and say I just created a new uh, Microsoft uh, Word document inside here, and I flip back to my view and do a reload, you'll see that, hey, there is that new Microsoft Word document. Again, because we're directly interfacing with the exact same appliance um, that is as presenting the, the share. Now, one of the big benefits of this is for, again, those users that were working remotely, want to just access the file system very quickly from their home, but also for users that want to share content with uh, people external to the Active Directory. So the way that is done is through the use of shared links. And again, we talked about the administrative um, functionality of this on a, on a previous demo. But let's say I wanted to share out this entire Matt Stack folder. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn on shared links for the entire folder. So again, as an administrator, you have the ability to set a maximum expiration, which we have it set for 30 days in here. But as a user, I can select it for, for less. Um, for access, again, you can enable read or read write. Read write meaning that users uh, externally could upload content as well. So I'm going to help give that, that functionality. And then I'm going to set a password. And this is just a password to go along with the uh, shared link. So when I create this, you will see that this password is, or this link is generated. And ultimately what I would do is then take this link, email it to my user or, or somehow share that with them, um, let them know what the password is for this. And then when they go ahead and they open up that link, they would type in that password and they're gonna have a very similar view um, to what you get here. Uh, so it's very nice, very easy to use, very easy to collaborate with users that are, are both internal to your organization and external. Uh, please feel free to reach out to your sales teams or account teams uh, if you have any questions on this functionality or would like to learn more. Thank you. Nasuni. Good, right?